What is up YouTube? It is Neil here again from the online golf store. Um, I have been today to pick up a second hand single seat golf buggy. Be one or two parts to this uh, buggy rebuild series, but um, let's 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 have a look at the buggy and we'll we'll talk you through what we've got. So this is what we picked up today. It does come it did come with a set of wool batteries here. Uh, we're not even going to test these. These have been lying for too long, so those batteries are scrap. Um, we're going to hook up a couple of new batteries to see if we can get this running. It's very, very dirty. A rust, a bit of rust around here. Um, it's a throttle model, so it's a seat. A bit broken back here. This is hanging off. Looks like part of that has been repaired. Yeah, a couple of bits around here, so. So that's what we're starting with. We're going to get this up on the forklift and uh, start to strip this down and bit by bit and show you guys what is in a buggy, what is in a buggy service, uh, what is in a buggy repair. So there's an outside nut, I need to take that off. So that removes the wheel, you take that outside nut. There's two bearings and they're two different sizes. So your inside bearing is a larger it's got a larger internal diameter and to fit on that part of the axle and then the outside bearing is a smaller diameter so if you put the wheel on the wrong way it won't it won't fit and this insert here sits on the inside is designed to stop the nut from from collapsing the two bearings onto each other take off all four and I set these on the bench for cleaning So this wheel here, a wee bit awkward to get off. Um, it has a it has a spline there, um, so it's no bearings in the rear wheel, obviously, because it has to be driven, and it's driven by that this keyway. It's a keyway. Seat has a has a pin to locate it. I'm not going to take this apart. We'll just give this a good clean up. Of course, we'll have this repair to do at the back. So this is the this is the axle at the at the front here, and you can see there just uh, two different sizes, good condition. Axle at the rear. You have the keyway. Let me see if we can get that on camera. That's the keyway there. There's a lot of debris here. We need to, need to clean this debris off here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this front. There's two bolts here. And take this front crash bar off. And there's two bolts in here. And we're going to take this rear bag support off. And we get the parts we see, we bag the parts here, and we'll get the parts all on the bench. So this is the uh, original chrome bars. So we might have to paint this. I wouldn't want to re-chrome this. So this 
two bolts hold that, holds the rear frame. So this will need a bit of a, a clean up. Uh, we may even repaint this frame. So what's next? Um, have a look at take the controller and the electrics off here. Just take you inside the control box. So this is a standard Curtis controller and these buggies. Um, you have a 24 volt input, 24 volt motor output and a Molex plug that connects all of the, the harness loom in, in one plug. This end plug here is for our, uh, we have a Curtis control programmer uh, that we can plug into that four pin one. Uh, you have a charger connection. Uh, this one here is your charger connection. Uh, we have a <coughs> beeper. And what else? We have a key switch. So these are all just these are all just plugs. Difficult to do this with one hand. Um, there we go. Um, they're all just simple simple plugs that can come away to release the controller and to release the loom. So we're pr getting pretty close now. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll now um, bring this forward, this forward harness out and strip the handle off here. Once we get the handle off, then it's just the front and rear um, frames to go. Uh, we have uh, two Allen key nuts and bolts here and on this side and that drops the motor away. We've disconnected the motor from the motor controller and this is the motor brake plug. So this is free to come away. I don't want to take that off just yet because there's a lot of weight in the front.